a nation of false hope in a land of false promise. They were young, gifted and black, when they came and built the garden in England. They were young, gifted and black, when they came and built the garden in Great Britain to accommodate their children and family. They were asked for help by a so-called mother country who suffer some wicked attack from certain European tribe. As a matter of fact, it was the second time around those European tribe attack each other. But Africans become their cannon fodder. We lost mother, father, sisters and brothers by the action of the European tribal war, one and two. Many things those young people never knew, but their art was good, so good, so they pulled through. For you, you, and even you, today don't know what they been through. For young, gifted and black, today some become victim of the system and also victim of their own children who join the system institution and even in growth in other nations while their own parents was in a bad and wicked situation. But they ignore their responsibility and purpose and settle for white privilege position. But those young people who are ancestors and elders today has paved the way. So some could come here in the UK and get their stay. Ip, ip, hooray. But the persecution never, never went away to this present day. Education and housing abuse, debt in custody, deportation of the African man and woman from the so-called motherland England. Just remember, they were young, gifted and black when they built the garden in Great Britain. Yes, they were young, gifted and black when they built the garden in England, so-called motherland England.